Hi, I'm Asha Gill and this is IAM's Healthy Eating Essentials where we go through the nutritional pros and cons of what is basically our standard fare in terms of what we eat in a lifetime. And of course I've got nutritional expert here, Wei from My Kenzen, to tell us all about fats. That's what we're discussing today. How many different kinds are there? There are three main types of fats. Firstly, saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, which can be further divided into monounsaturated and polyunsaturated, and lastly, trans fats. Now, out of all those, I mean, are there good fats and bad fats, or is it a little bit more complicated than just that? Well, I wouldn't label it good and bad. I would say we need all three kinds of fats for good health. So we're looking here at a, at a very staple kind of breakfast. Yes. For us, and. Um, now this obviously has got a lot of fried food and everything in it. Can you talk me through the whole fat situation in terms of this kind of meal? Well, what you have before you actually contains coconut milk. And a lot of us has misconception that coconut milk has saturated fats and therefore is bad for us. But this is not the case. Saturated fat is needed also for good health. So it helps in your metabolism, for skin repair, for I mean tissue repair as well as for hormonal production. Alright, so we need the saturated fats. Yes. But not a lot of them. Yes. Okay, so take the standard nasi lemak because I think that's kind of like the, the, the standard system that everybody understands here in Asia. And talk me through how we can still have our nasi lemak but actually have it in such a way that it's beneficial to our body. Well, one way is that you can use the Ayam brand trim coconut milk which has lower fat content or you could just reduce the coconut milk when you're cooking it. And of course with the, with the sort of other condiments as well, for example, you'd want to, I would imagine, change the fried egg to a yes. boiled egg. Yes, that's a good idea. Or even the chicken wings to a baked chicken. And of course the sambal, lessen the sugar in there. And of course more vegetables. More vegetables, yes. One more slice of cucumber. <laughs> when it comes to the kueh though as well and then and the biscuits here, talk me through that. Oh well, with the quays and the biscuits, likewise there's coconut milk. So what you could do is you could substitute with half coconut milk and half milk or just reduce the sugar content as well. Or do what I do and don't change it and just have half a piece instead. Yep, <laughs> there you right. go. From the expert's mouth herself, this is all about fat.